What's up guys, Steve Craig Retro Games back with another video and tonight's video is five games for the Sega Saturn that people forgot or just rarely discuss. Now I will be bending the rule a little bit with one game on this list because um, I was trying to um, pick a game from different genres this time uh, a little bit more than the last couple videos uh, that way there's maybe a little bit for everybody. Um, but with that being said, let's check out the five games that people just rarely discuss for the Sega Saturn. Alright guys, so I'm going to cover these in no specific order. And the first one is for the RPG fans, and that is Iron Storm. Uh, this is a working designs title, and this is a strategy RPG absolutely fantastic cover art um so this is a real-time strategy uh basically you are reenacting the battles of world war ii and you can either um decide to make the war go the way that it did in real life or you can choose to be the nazis and take over the war um, but all of these battles are based off of the accurate historic battles from the war and this game is fantastic uh, i have just touched into this a little bit but i really really want to dive into this i know i'm just going to need some time uh, like at least a full weekend to just really explore this game and dive deep um, and really get a good game going but absolutely fantastic game doesn't get discussed enough but uh, if you are a strategy RPG fan, check out Iron Storm. Then for you fighter fans out there, we have Last Bronx. So this is a, a fantastic fighter that's actually ahead of its time uh, during the age of the Saturn. Um, very few people really discuss this game, but, uh, this game did some things that no other fighting game on the Saturn did with the backgrounds and, um, stuff like that. But, uh, fantastic fighting game. Um, beautifully done. I mean, this thing runs really, really smooth. Uh, 60 frames per second. And it is just an absolute blast that definitely deserves your attention it's got a great cast of characters. Um, they all use weapons. And it's well worth your time, guys. So if you get an opportunity and you're a fighter fan, check out Last Bronx. You won't be sorry. Then for you platforming fans out there, we have... Skeleton Warriors. So this game is based off of a cartoon that came out in 93, I believe, and ran for one season or two seasons. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but this game, oh my goodness, is absolutely wonderful. Leanne and I love this game to death. The graphics are fantastic. Your character is digital. Uh, like Mortal Kombat style. You have a sword, and the music is heavy metal-ish. It is absolutely wonderful. I mean, I love this game. It's got 3D rendered graphics, and uh, it's just... It's something completely different than anything else you've played on the Saturn, and... Um, it makes me want to watch the cartoon series. It makes me want to buy the toys. They actually came out with uh, Skeleton Warriors action figures and a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, uh, if you guys are into action platformers and with like a heavy metal music type vibe, um, this game is absolutely fantastic. The pictures don't really do it justice, but look up some gameplay. Excuse me. For Skeleton Warriors, that game is awesome. All right, for you uh, schmuck fans out there, 
This is the one I'm kind of bending the rules a little bit. This is In the Hunt. Um, so if you guys are fans of Metal Slug, this is Metal Slug Underwater, and it is absolutely chaotic fun. So Coco Pele made this game. It is, like I said, an underwater, beautiful shooter. Absolutely love this game. And I am a big Metal Slug fan as well. But the graphics and the gameplay in this are superb. It does um, suffer from some slowdown, but there are so many sprites and explosions going on on the screen that honestly sometimes it can be beneficial. But uh, this game is tough as nails. This is the boss that gives me the biggest problems. Um, you have to go vertically up and there's things that are blocking your path. You have to go around as he's chasing you. Um, but if you are a fan of shoot 'em ups if you are a fan of um, Metal Slug, if you are a fan of submarine games, check this game out. This was also released on the PlayStation 1, I believe. Um, a much cheaper version of the game, I believe. I, th I think it's also kind of pricey, but... Yeah, if you guys are fans of any of the things I mentioned, check out In the Hunt. And then the last game, for those of you guys that are racer fans or crazy taxi fans, you have to check out Courier Crisis. So this is, like I said, uh, a crazy taxi uh, clone, so to speak. But instead of driving a taxi and delivering people to destinations, you are a mail, mail courier. Sorry. Uh, you grab envelopes out of people's hands and you deliver the uh, mail to whatever destination. And this game is bonkers, off the wall fun. Absolutely love it. Um, I used to race mountain bikes when I was younger, GT was my brand. If you guys are fans of Crazy Taxi, this game is awesome, and this will definitely scratch that itch. Over 250 missions, you can pull off jumps. Uh, you can also <laughs> flick somebody the bird from behind by putting your hand up and flick them the bird backwards. Um, this game is great. You don't hear very many people talk about this, but uh, this is basically Crazy Taxi or uh, what's the uh, Simpson Road Rage. That's basically what this game is, but you are on a GT bike, and yeah, it is fantastic. Um, so those are five games that people rarely talk about for the Sega Saturn that honestly deserve more love, guys. So if you are not familiar with any of these titles, do yourselves a favor and familiarize yourself with any of them uh, but do it soon because these games are wonderful and absolutely worth your time all right guys well i hope you enjoyed the video if you did and you're not yet a subscriber think about hitting that subscribe button for me and if you enjoy my content you can also check out a little bit more on my instagram that is steve craig retro games same as it is down below leave me some comments guys let me know what your thoughts are on the saturn or the five games i talked about today so uh, basically, I do these videos. It's not that these games are completely obscure or that nobody talks about them, but I think that the games I discuss on these lists, you know, these five games every other week, are games that should be discussed way more than they are. Games that should be played and enjoyed way more than they are. So um, I try to bring some of these games to light to some of those that have never heard about it. And then for those of you that have, um, maybe remind you about this game so that you can say, oh yeah, I remember hearing about that game a while back and I wanted to check it out. Well, here's your chance to revisit or check out a game for the first time that really deserves more attention. So I uh, really want to thank you guys for making it this far and for watching. Um, please make sure you come back in two days this Friday for a pickups video. I'm pretty excited about it. And then of course, Next Monday, Wednesday, and Friday will be another trifecta as usual. So again, guys, 
Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. And until Friday, take care of yourselves out there, guys, and keep gaming.